Hi, I wanted to share my thoughts uh, today on a couple of knives that I just recently acquired, sort of do a comparison. One is the Case Cheetah, uh, and the other one is the Great Eastern Cutlery, uh, Ben Hogan, uh, Titty Ute uh, knife. The knives are similar in size, uh, although they differ in some other aspects. Uh, we can start with the Case Cheetah. Uh, this is a knife I've been wanting to get for for quite a while. It's a uh, it's a Case Vault knife. Uh, you can see on the comes in a tin. Um, it also comes with a uh, with sort of a a sheath kind of a pocket carrying sheath because it doesn't have a belt clip but I guess it would come in handy if you want to keep the knife from getting scratched by your by anything else in your pocket uh, this is a lock back um, with the swing guard clip point uh, one of the one of the nice features about it is uh, that on this particular knife they did they did swedge the blade as you can see right there maybe and uh, you know it's a good it's a good quality knife uh, it's got the antique uh, smooth bone which I think looks pretty nice um, the knife is well built the only problem I have with it is they don't uh, case is not pinning the uh, the shields in they're gluing them in that's cutting corners as far as I'm concerned I'd like to see the the shields uh, be pinned otherwise eventually they're going to fall out of there uh, this knife has the the, uh, the surgical stainless that case uses on a lot of its knives um, I don't really sharpen my knives all that much so I don't know how the surgical steel sharpens. Uh, I do know how carbon steel sharpens and it usually sharpens uh, fairly well. Um, you know this knife, uh, it's a nice knife. It's a rather large knife. It's four and a half inches uh, closed. So for some people that may be uh, a little bit large to carry in their pocket. I don't know. I, I tend to prefer uh, knives with a single blade um, because I find that normally I only use one blade on a pocket knife anyway I mean I have knives with more than one blade but uh, these are the ones that I prefer so that's uh, that's a look at the cheetah it's uh, you know it, I, I like the knife I mean it's a real nice knife I just wish that case would do more uh, more stuff on the uh, quality. The, the Titty Ute uh, knife is uh, similar in size. Uh, it's uh, about the same length. Also has a clip point. Uh, it's made out of uh, 1097 uh, carbon steel. Um, this is a numbered knife. It's a uh, 12, uh, you can see there, 12 out of 25, uh, numbered ones anyway. I mean, they do make them when they don't have the numbers on them. Um, this is the Ben Hogan uh, series. Uh, they have, it comes in a, in a tube with a picture of, I suppose, Ben Hogan on the front and some information about this uh, about this rather nefarious character on the back. Uh, this is made in Titusville, Pennsylvania. It's a relatively new knife company, uh, but they're making you know real good quality knives. As you can see, the the shield is pinned on this one. It's not a lock back. I mean, it's just a slippy, but it has a real good, real solid half stop. You know, which is always nice. That I also don't find on a lot of case knives anymore 
Um, you know, they, they, they don't seem to be doing the half stop. Uh, this knife also has the swedging on the top of the clip, which is always nice to see. It's a little added touch. Uh, this knife is a, a fairly a stiff opening. Uh, it takes a little bit of uh, effort to open it, which I like. And it has, you know, real good snap to it. Um, it ha it's the uh, 3P, which is, uh, gosh, I forget what, what the 3P stand for. But what it means is it's one of their uh, more premier knives. Um, all around a very nice knife. I really like this knife. Um, I would probably carry this knife other than the fact that I collect them. I don't carry them. The only knife, quality knife that I ever carry is I have a case knife uh, that I'll probably show you later that I carry in my pocket. But uh, these other ones here, I just, I just collect them. Anyway, I just wanted to make a comparison that, you know, case is kind of slipping on their quality because the, uh, th this company, which hasn't been in business all that long, I think only since, uh, well, the early 2000s, 2006, something like that. And they're making really good quality knives, and a lot of people are starting to collect them. Um, it also comes with, a, you know, a certificate, a certificate of authenticity that says that it's 12 to 25 and signed by somebody. And, uh, you know, so it's, uh, you know, it, it's, it's made to be a collector's item, basically. But anyway, I just wanted to make a short video just to show, you know, the difference between, you know, an up-and-coming knife maker in the U.S., U.S. made knife, you know, and how I think in a lot of ways case is starting to slip on their quality a little bit. I mean, the swedging on this knife is a rarity. I have a lot of case knives, and you don't find too many of the clip points swedged anymore. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will uh, maybe make a few more videos of some of my knives. I have quite a few. And, uh, you know, thanks for watching.